So we're going to solve 5a minus 3 equals 7. Now what that means is we want to find the missing number that you can plug in for a to make this thing true. All right. So you could probably just try to guess something. Some number I plug in here, if I multiply it by 5 and then subtract 3, I end up with 7, right? So um, there's a nice logical way of figuring that out, and it's called solving the equation, okay? And what you do is you imagine that this is like a Wayne scales, the equal sign, and you can put your um, dotted line down the middle. And, you know, imagine a kind of a weigh-in scales here, right? So you've got a right side and a left side. You can add something to the left of the weigh-in scales, but if you do that, you must also add it to the right to keep it balanced. So whatever you do to the left, you must do to the right. Or whatever you do to the right, you must do to the left. Like if you take some weights off the right, it'll tip. So to balance it, you take some the same amount of weight off the left, right? So what I'm going to suggest is, like, we've got to get A on its own. A is being multiplied by 5, and then 3 is being subtracted. So I'm going to suggest, let's add 3 to begin with, like that. See that? And now we have negative 3 plus 3, which is 0. So we have 5A equals, and then 7 plus 3, 10, right? Uh, so now A is being multiplied by 5. So to get a by itself, we do the opposite of multiplying by 5. We divide by 5 on both sides. And so 5 apples divided by 5, 1 apple, or just a, equals, and 10 over 5, 2. So a equals 2 should be the answer. And if we check that, like if we had guess, say, 2, then it should all work out. Because look, 5 times 2 is 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. All right? So two is the correct answer there.